welcome to my first ever bagazode here at Bye Bye Bye. A bagazode is an episode that it's all about really fun bags. Specifically chose these novelty bags because they're a little bit out of my comfort zone. They are so fun and on trend and guess what? I bought these at Zara. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do because on my first ever episode, I reviewed some really cool heeled sandals by Zara and I can go on forever talking about Zara because it is such an incredible store. They have everything you can imagine from women's, men's, kids, and all the categories in between. And I love how fast they are on trend. Like they see something on the runways and they have their own iteration of it right away. I really like all of the accessories that they're coming out with right now. And their handbags actually caught my attention. I've never bought Zara bags before, so this is my first time and I'm going to be reviewing them with you today. I specifically chose four bags. They are so fun. I just was so inspired by like their textures and their colors. They're something that I'm definitely missing in my closet. I've really been itching to get some bags where I truly use them as an accessory. This is something that I want to carry and I wanted to elevate my outfit, I want to take it to the next level. This is something that I want to stand out, that I want to be complimented on, and at the same time, I want it to be functional. As a bag episode, what we're going to do is I'm going to review each and every bag with full details. I'm going to tell you the scoop on each of them. We're going to talk about color, size, whether it's worth the price, and we're going to decide whether it's worth buying or, you know, saying bye-bye to it. Let's get started with the first bag. Here she is. She costs right under $50. She's so vibrant and a true orange color. I just really loved everything about it. The actual silhouette of it is really simple. The ruffles just take it to a whole nother level. I think they did such a great job placing these ruffles. They're very neat. They're very beautifully finished. They have folded edges and everything about it just looks so cool. It kind of looks like a really big loofah, but if you just see it up close, like you can tell that it was made with a lot of love. It is just a perfect party bag. It really just makes me want to create an outfit all around it. I also love that this material, I thought it was satin. It really does look like satin fabric, but it was 25% recycled polyester. Zara is really making an effort to make an impact in the environment. That adds so much more to the price point for me. Like I would really value that small detail. Not only do I love it and I love the size, but just knowing that this material is extra special is really cool. I really think it's fun how Zara paired it up on their website. They styled it with the white oversized black and a Kelly green pencil skirt and I've been seeing a lot of like bold on bold colors a lot of orange and greens a lot of orange and pinks you can also just wear these with jeans and a t-shirt and just like let the bag speak for itself it is really the perfect size the inside has a magnetic snap so you just unsnap it like this and the sizing of this bag like it's perfect for your, your keys your makeup essentials everything that you really need to have a good time. This is such a gem and at the end of the day, I 100% think it's worth buying. It is functional. It is a great price at $50. It is beautifully made and it is so on trend. So we're definitely going to buy her. Let's go on to the next bag. Here's the next bag. She cost a little under $70. She's a beautiful red crochet beaded bag. Zara had it listed as a crocheted bobble bag, but this actually isn't a bobble bag. This is. That's just a technique of crochet. And stitching itself just creates little puffs instead of just a traditional crochet. But in this case, they use beads. I think that it elevates the style a little bit more. It has a little bit of a sheen. It makes it a little bit more elegant and chic. I really thought this was just a neat shape. Uh, the way that Zara styled it, they styled it with a really fun, bold printed kimono. This does remind me of an old school coin bag because you literally just open the flap like this. I did notice it doesn't come with a strap, so the only way you can carry it is, you know, by hand or you can always just stick it under your arm. 
I think they can never go wrong with a red bag. Like, check out Bella Hadid here with just like jeans and a white t-shirt and then she has her little red bag. You know, you can also just wear it in more of a casual way like this. It's kind of heavy and it has nothing in it. Although I do like the size, like you can totally fit your cell phone, your keys, like even a mid-sized wallet in here. Um, but it's heavy, there's nothing in here and I'm just like, oof kind of heavy. I also noticed that the threading can actually snag really easily and I can totally see myself getting it caught on something and just messing it up and just pulling the thread out. So that's not really a good thing here. This is going to have to be a bye-bye for me. It does not warrant its price point. I think $70 is too expensive for what this is. Like if she at least came with an additional strap option, maybe I would consider her more. I don't like how heavy she is. I think I would get annoyed if I had to be carrying this all night. It has a little bit of an odd shape when it doesn't have much in the bag, so I definitely prefer how it looks when it was properly stuffed. So for those reasons, I'm going to have to say bye bye to it. Let's go on to the next bag. Check out this little lady. She is just screaming Barbie. She was only $49, okay, right under $50. I know she's small, but she is so cute. She's totally reminding me of the Balenciaga Hourglass bag that's all covered in crystals, but just like in a more simplified version, more understandable. I love how it has the Tono crystals right in the middle of the panels, even in the back. This, these really thick padded binded edges make it just look so fun. It really adds like this really cool dimension to it. It makes it look so expensive. I love the little handle at the top with the shiny silver dome studs that are right next to it. And the same studs are at the bottom that kind of lift it up a little bit so it doesn't touch the floor. I really like how it is like a little bag. Little bags have been in. Pink is like the new black. Everything is about pink nowadays. There's pink everywhere. It is Barbie season, especially with a new movie coming out. I think this pink is so beautiful. It's this pretty bubblegum pink. It is all over satin fabric. Do you want to be careful? I wouldn't doubt if this gets dirty very easily. Um, it does have magnetic snaps. Just open and close and it is roomy enough to fit your phone your makeup essentials in here and guess what it has this long shiny silver strap which really lets you wear it in different ways you just hang it over your shoulder and maybe even wear it as a crossbody I just love that you have this choice because you know, maybe you don't want to be carrying it all day. Maybe you're more of a shoulder strap kind of person. I love that the chain looks like it's really good quality. And then it also has the pink padded strap at the top. It just adds so much to this bag. This pink bag can be styled in so many ways. I think that of course this can just work with a really simple outfit. You can totally do an all black style and just let this speak for itself. I really think that this is like an all year kind of bag because you can definitely wear it throughout the summertime but I can totally see myself wearing this to a holiday party with a really fun party dress. You know it has the bling element, the satin fabric makes it look a little bit dressy. So if you haven't guessed it already, this is a must buy. The price point is great. The quality and the way this bag is made is beautiful. It is so fun. Most importantly, it is so Barbie. So this is definitely a buy. Last but not least is this guy right here. He is this pearl bucket bag. I love everything about it. It was only $50. I believe it was priced at like $49.90 or something like that. And I thought that the price was really good for what you're getting because not only is it just a pearl bucket bag, hello, look how beautifully it's made. I love how the plastic pearls are just all over and it has these little clusters of these shiny silver beads. So it almost looks like it has some bling throughout, but if you look closely, they're only just like these metal details. I think it really adds so much to it. The value of this just looks like it should be more expensive in person. It was very beautifully made. It does come with this handle that is removable and it comes with this really long silver chain that has these little pearls on the ends 
So if you want to wear it as a crossbody, you can, or just simply off the shoulder. I love a bag that gives you these options because I'm always changing my mind. When you wear the bag with a longer strap, it almost looks a little bit more casual versus when you just hold it by the handle. I think it kind of dresses it up a little bit. The lining material has this really cool drawstring, so you're not too worried that things will fall out of your bag. It is big enough to put all of your necessities in it. The material of the lining is actually a linen. It's a really thin linen that has metallic silver threads going through it. Pearls are definitely in. Chanel used them for their Autumn Winter 2022 collection. And I know they use a sprinkle of them in some of their bags for their pre-summer 2023. Also, if you check out 0711 on Farfetch, they have such a variety of pearl handbags. And these are expensive bags. So getting this at 50 bucks, I thought was just such a deal. It just is so beautiful. I think it's timeless. They always look so feminine. I really like that pearls lend themselves to be casual and dressy. Again, you can just wear this in like a really casual way with like jeans as you see here. Or I really like how this girl's wearing this pearl bag with the blue blazer here. I think it's so chic. I just love everything about it. So yes, I'm definitely going to buy it. It meets the price point. It is very beautifully made. It is such a great size and it is just so timeless. Like I cannot say no to this bag. So we're definitely going to keep her. Hey. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe and follow me on all my social media. I'm looking forward to reading all of your comments. Please tell me what do you love? What do you hate? What do you want to see next? I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.